Hello, today we're going to look into an annoying uh, item in my list. It is the workflow unread messages. Today we'll look at how do we reset the uh, unread workflow notification. I just wanted to give you a brief overview that this is an annoying, there's no harm in seeing un unread messages in the workflow. But sometimes in a test instance, you know, I can see thousands of unread notifications and the users get uh, uh, annoyed sometimes. So here we'll talk about how to, how to, re how to reset it. So this is what I was talking about. If you log into the instance, you would see uh, the notification with 99 plus and you will see a full list of uh, 129. In, in my case, there's 129. I have case the, this particular instance so sometimes I've seen like thousands of records it you know it, it doesn't do any harm uh, but sometimes it's annoying so what do we uh, so I'm going to show you two ways of resetting it one is the hard way I think it's the recommended way uh, the second one is an easy way uh, I don't think it's recommended so the hard way is you are in the e-business instance you click on the full list it is going to take you to the work list. The work list will sh show you 10 records at a time. You click on select all and click close. Uh, let me go ahead and click select all. So it's going to select the records. I'm going to click close. So it's going to prompt you uh, whether you know the selected records are being closed. Click apply. So you have to continue doing this uh, until the you know uh, uh, how many times you have if you have thousands, you know, you got to do that many times But you know One thing we could do to ease the pain is to increase the number from 10 to 25, which is the maximum So let's see how to do that first So to to do that there's no other way that I know of Only through personalization the personalization of oil framework page so in order to do the personalization, you you set these uh, profiles. So normally this would be done by a, a functional functional person or somebody who knows how to man manage this. So you would set the personalized self server definition to yes, disable self self, self service uh, profile to no, and FND personalization to yes. So let me go ahead and set those profiles. So I've set these profiles to yes. Or in in the second case, it's no. Then I log back into the uh, application. You have to log out and log back into the application. You click on the same uh, full list. It's going to take me back to this. This time you can. Uh, this time we're going to see uh, additional uh, links. I'm going to click on the personalized notification list. It's going to take me to a page with the personalized content, personalized structure. So if you scroll down, you would see there is a table called uh, notification list. You edit that. Scroll down, you will see the records displayed. In this case, it's 25. So if I zoom in here, I set the value to 25. And uh, and then the record displays what we are looking for. And once you set the value, you click Apply. It's going to take you back to the um, uh, personalized page. You just click Return to Application. Now you're going to see 25 records instead of uh, 10 records. So now you can continue the uh, same way. You can select all, click close. So instead of 10, you have uh, 25. I didn't change the screenshot, so you'd still see 10, 10 here. But uh, if you want to, the previous screenshot are 25. So if you do the same thing, you know, you continue to doing a lesser frequency than uh, 10. So if you have like 50, you can do uh, all in one, sh you know, like two shots. <laughs> Um, there are some uh, uh, performance issues with that, so uh, th those things you have to deal with your DBA uh, by setting this value from uh, 25 to 10, 10 to 25. The other way is a simple way. Um, it's to directly update the table. Um, the main the t main table is workflow notifications table, so you can query you can uh, query and update it directly. I just have to give you a warning: it's not Oracle recommended. And I do not take any responsibility. I do it to clean up the system once in a while, especially in a, you know, in a dev instance or an instance where we have a common user. So first thing you run is the script, you know, run a simple SQL to see how many records are there. So in this case, uh, 
So I'm going to send the recipient role as the user, uh, the current user that I have, and the status is open. So in my case, I have 119. If you notice earlier, I had 129 and I closed 10. So I have 119. So then I do an update script. The update script would um, update the notification to closed. So I can see I, have, I, can, I got 119 records. So if you commit and you log back in, looks it looks you know, if you look at here it looks uh zero um that's that's the, that's the simplest way of doing it um hope you enjoy this we'll see you uh later for more hacks thank you